What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RossmarTech.com and this is video 3 of our Raspberry Pi Cluster Supercomputer video series. In this video series I'm going to show you guys how to set up all the Raspberry Pis so they can communicate with each other. And in video 4 I'm going to show you guys how we can create programs to take advantage of the cluster computer environment. So let's get started. Alright guys, so now before we can move forward we have to make sure that our Raspberry Pi has the image burnt onto it. This is the same image we created in our last video. Now make sure all the Raspberry Pis has that image burnt onto the SD cards connected to the Raspberry Pis. Now you have to connect the Raspberry Pis to the router. Make sure they're all connected to that router. And also make sure that there's an internet source connected to that router, whether it be another router or a modem. And also make sure that uh, you have a computer connected to that switch so we can use PuTTY to remotely access the Raspberry Pis. Then also make sure that there's a power source connecting to all the Raspberry Pis. Now, once you've completed those steps, now we can move on to the next one. And th that's launching PuTTY here. And uh, we're going to type in the IP address of our Raspberry Pi, the same one we used in our last video. This is the address I told you guys to jot down. So mine is 192.168.1.6. Yours is going to be different. Click open. Let it load. Now the login is Pi and the password is Raspberry. And let it load. And uh, once we finish that, the next step is to uh, log in to all our other Raspberry Pis. Now before we can log in to our other Raspberry Pis, I'm going to open up a web browser here. So I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to open up a web browser. And now uh, right here, we're going to navigate to this URL here, www.tinkernut.com forward slash 2014 forward slash 05 forward slash 09 forward slash make hyphen cluster hyphen computer hyphen part hyphen two. Now this is Tinkernut's Page. This is a page Tinkernet uses to uh, demonstrate the code needed to create a cluster computer using Raspberry Pi. Now we used Tinkernet's code in our last video and we're going to continue using Tinkernet's code in this video. Now if you guys don't know, Tinkernet is an awesome YouTuber and so check out his uh, YouTube page. I'm going to leave his links to his YouTube page and this page as well in the description. Now. Uh, again, before we can log into the other Raspberry Pis, we have to first figure out what their IP addresses are. Now to do that, we have to install something called Nmap. And before we can install Nmap, we have to run this code here. Run this code, copy this code here, and just paste it onto here. Now, Tinkernut's page here, this is the code and configuration page for the part two of his video. The video, this is the part we're actually working on now. Now on his page, all the codes start with a capital. We're gonna need to replace the capital, let's say S with a lowercase, and wherever the caps are, we have to replace it with a lowercase. So in this case, we're going to replace the capital S here with lowercase s. So we're gonna replace it with lowercase s and just hit enter. Give it about a minute or so to download. All right, so when that's done, we're going to copy this link here and that's going to install something called Nmap. Nmap is going to let us scan and uh, write down our uh, IP addresses for all our Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna paste that here. Again, replace the capital S with a lowercase s here. And then hit enter. It's going to install Nmap. Again, give it a couple of minutes to install. Then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna continue? Type in Y, then hit enter. So now when that's done, we're going to type in a command called ifconfig. So type in I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G. Ifconfig will give you the IP address of your current Raspberry Pi. Now, if you guys weren't using PuTTY, you can use ifconfig to figure out the current IP address of your Raspberry Pi. And right here, you can see my IP address of this Pi. Again, it's 192.168.1.6. Yours is going to be different. Now we're going to figure out the IP addresses of all our other Pi. So we're going to copy this code over here, paste it here, replace the capital S with a lowercase s. Then we're going to hit enter. It's going to scan the, our network and jot down the IP addresses. So my first Raspberry Pi again should be dot six. And let's see if we could find it. So the first one is dot six. This is my first uh, address for my first the Raspberry Pi here. The second one here is dot seven. My third one here is dot, oops, dot eight. And my fourth one here is dot nine. When I mean by dot nine, one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot nine. So yours is going to be different. So jot down all the IP addresses of all your Raspberry Pis. We're going to need to use them later on. Now, after we finish that, we're going to go into the next step. And the next step is to uh, actually change the names of our Raspberry Pis. To change the names of our Raspberry Pis, we're going to need to SSH into them. Again, that we're going to use our Raspberry Pi's IP address to do that. Now to SSH into a Raspberry Pi, you type in SSH space Pi at and then the Pi's IP address. The, my, my second IP address for my second Pi is 192.168.1.7. Again, yours is going to be completely different. Hit enter. You're going to type in yes. Hit enter. Then the password of the Pi is Raspberry. 
answer. Now we're going to successfully log into our Pi, and this is the Pi right here. Now we're going to change the Pi's uh, name. To change the Pi's name, we're going to use something called uh, Raspi config and type in sudo space R A S P I fin config. Hit enter. Now we're in the configuration page here. We're going to scroll down to advanced options, hit enter, scroll down to host name, hit enter, hit enter again, and change it from one to two. We're going to hit OK. Then we're going to hit tab a couple of times till finish here is highlighted. Once finish is highlighted, we're going to hit enter, then hit enter again. It's going to reboot the Pi. Once it reboots the Pi, we're going to lose the connection to PuTTY. So when that happens, we're just going to close PuTTY here and reopen it again. Now we're going to type in the original IP address again of our original Pi, the first Pi we logged into. And mine's is 192.168.1.6. I'm going to hit enter. Login again is Pi, the password is Raspberry. Enter, let it load. Now we're logged into the Pi 1. Now we're gonna log into Pi 3 because we changed the name of Pi 2 to 2. Now we're gonna change the name of Pi 3 to Pi 03. Again, we're gonna use SSH space Pi at, then the IP address of your third Pi. Mine says 192.168.1.8. I'm gonna hit enter. Then we're going to type in yes, hit enter again. The, the password is raspberry, hit enter. And now we should log in. Now we're logged into the third Pi. We're going to change the Pi's name. To do that, again, you're going to type in sudo, hit space, R-A-S-P-I hyphen config. Hit enter, scroll down to advanced options, scroll down to host names, then hit enter, then change it from one to three. Hit enter, then hit tab a few times. So it finishes highlighted, then we hit enter, then we hit yes again. Again, it's gonna reboot the Pi. We're going to need to restart PuTTY here and then reload it. And then we're gonna type in the original IP address again, our Pi 01 IP address. So 192.168.1.6, yours is gonna be different. I'm gonna hit open here. Now login again is Pi, password is Rasp, Barry, hit enter. Now we're in the original Pi again. Now we need to change the IP address of Pi 4. Again, we're going to SSH into Pi 4. So we're going to type in SSH space Pi at the address of Pi 4. Mine says 192.168.1.9. Hit enter. Type in yes. Hit enter. Password is Raspberry. Hit enter. And you should log in. Now, again, we're going to change the name. To change the name, we're going to type in sudo. Uh, space rasp b hyphen config. Hit enter. We're going to scroll down to advanced options to host name. Okay, change it from one to four now. Now we're going to hit enter. Then we're going to hit tab a few times till finish is highlighted. Then we're going to hit enter again. It's going to ask us to reboot. We're going to say yes. Again, we need to uh, restart the putty. So close putty here. Click on OK. Open up putty again. And then type in the IP address of Pi01. Mine is 192.168.1.6. You're going to hit open here. The login is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Hit enter. It should log in. So now we're, we're ready for the next step. We've successfully uh, changed the names of all our Raspberry Pis. We figured out what their IP addresses are so we can move on. Now we're going to need to create a file, and this file is going to be called machine file. So we're going to type in nano space M-A-C-H-I-N-E F-I-L-E, -E, nano machine file. We're going to hit enter. We're going to type in the IP addresses of all our Raspberry Pis. Now you're going to jot yours down. Mine is 192.168.1.6 is the first one. And the second one is 192.168.1.7. My third one is 192.168.1.8. And my fourth one is 192.168.1.9. Yours is going to be completely different, or it could be the, exactly the same, depending on your switch or router. These are my IP addresses for my Raspberry Pi. Yours are going to be different. Now, we're going to need to save this. So to save this, we're going to hold down Control. We're going to type 6, then X. Then it's going to ask us to save. We're going to type in Y, then enter. Now we successfully created a file called machine file, and we stored the IP addresses of all our Raspberry Pis in that file. 
Now the next thing is to uh, test whether or not that machine file works. To do that, we're going to copy this file here. We're going to copy it, paste it on here, and replace this capital M with a lowercase m. And then we're going to hit enter. Now you see it worked. Uh, we were able to connect to pi 1. Now let's see if we can connect to the other pi. So we're going to use this command down here. So we're going to copy this command down here. We're going to paste it onto here. And we're going to re replace the capital P. We're going to replace the capital M with a lowercase m. We're going to hit enter. It worked for the first pi, but we got uh, permission denied for the rest of them. You can fix this now. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Now, as you can see, we can't type anything here because it gets crazy. So now we're going to need to reset the pi again. So reset the pi by uh, exiting putty. Open up putty again and type in uh, the IP address of pi1. Mine says 192.168.1.6. Yours can be different. Again, we're going to log in. Pi is the login. Raspberry is the password. Now that we're logged in, now we're going to start the authentication keys. So we're going to scroll down in this URL here. We're going to start by copying this code here. So we're going to copy this code, paste it onto here, replace the capital S with a lowercase s, hit enter. And it should take about a couple of seconds to create the key. We're going to keep hitting enter, just keep pressing enter until we get back to this prompt here. Now, the next step is we're going to need to change directories. We're going to changing to this directory over here. We're going to change to this directory. Again, place the capital C with a lowercase c here. Just hit enter. Now that we changed into that directory, we're going to change into this file into that directory. So we're going to type in this. And we're going to replace the capital C with a lowercase c. We're going to hit enter. So we uh, change directory into this directory.ssh. We're going to copy this file here. And we're going to paste it. And this uh, code here is going to copy this file into this new directory that we will create. So we're going to replace, again, the lowercase c. Again, we're going to replace the capital C here with a lowercase c. Just hit enter. Now that we created that directory and we moved this file into that directory, we're going to SSH into pi number two. To SSH into pi number two, you just type in SSH. We're going to replace the capital S here with a lowercase one. Again, spot space, at, and then the pi address. The address of my uh, pi two is dot seven. So I'm going to change this to a dot seven. You're going to put the address of your pi two. Mine is dot seven. Yours could be different. We're going to hit enter. Now the password of our Raspberry Pi is going to be Raspberry. Hit enter. It's going to SSH into that Pi. So now we remotely access Pi number two. Now the next step here is we're going to copy this part here. Now we're going to do the same thing we did in Pi one. We're going to do it to Pi two. So we're going to copy this here. We're going to replace the capital S with a lowercase s. We're going to type in enter. It's going to generate a key, so we, we're just going to uh, hit enter a few times once it prompts us to. So we're going to hit enter again, enter, enter, until that finishes. Now we're going to cd into .ssh like we did in the original one, paste that there, change the capital C to a lowercase c, just hit enter. Now we're going to uh, copy this file into something called cpi2. It's the same thing we did in the other one, but we changed the file name to cpi Zero 02. Okay, so we changed the name to CP02. So paste this here, replace the capital C with a lowercase c, hit enter. So now we're going to copy this code here. This code will copy uh, that file from uh, our Pi1 into Pi2. So we're going to paste it here. And uh, we're going to change the capital S here to a lowercase s. So we're going to hit enter. And it should take a second or so to finish. So the next thing we're going to need to do is copy this line of code here. Copy it and paste it. Now the f we're going to do a couple of things. The first thing is change the IP address. We want to change it to our pi1 IP address. Mine is dot six. So we're going to delete this. I'm going to type in six. You're going to make sure it's your pi1 IP address. Then we're going to move up to the beginning of the code, replace the capital S with the lowercase f, then hit enter. Then we're going to type in yes, then hit enter. The password is raspberry and hit enter. Give it like a minute or so to finish. So once it's finished, we're going to copy this line of code here to so paste it onto here. All we're going to do is just change capital C to a lowercase c and then hit enter. Now we're finished doing that. We're going to uh, type in exit. 
Now we exit the connection from pi number two. Now we're going to SSH into pi number three. To SSH into pi number three, we're going to type in SSH space pi at then the IP address of your pi number three. Mine is 192.168.1.8. So I'm going to hit enter. Then the password is raspberry. And we're logged into pi number three. So now we're going to pretty much do the same thing with pi number three. We're going to copy this bit of code here, paste it, change it so that it's a lowercase s, now the capital S. Hit enter. We're going to generate a key. We're going to hit enter a few times. So once that's finished, it's going to prompt us. So hit enter, so we're going to hit enter once, twice, uh, three times until uh, we get to this screen here. Then we're going to copy this code here to cd into this directory. Just change the capital C to a lowercase one, hit enter. Now we're going to copy this bit of code here. And this will copy this file into a, a directory called pi3 that we're going to create. So copy this, change the first letter from capital C to lowercase c, hit enter. Now we're going to copy this bit of code here, and we're going to do a few modifications to this code. Again, like we did exactly what we did uh, to pi number two. We have to first uh, change the IP address to, to pi number one's IP address. Mine says dot six. So delete the dot two and just put in yours. Mine says dot six. Yours could be different. And we're also going to change this from a capital S to a lowercase s. So then we're going to hit enter. So now we're going to type in yes. Hit enter. Now the password is raspberry. Enter. Now we're going to copy this code here. Oops. Now we're going to copy this code here. Paste it onto here. And again, we're going to change the capital C to a lowercase c here. Hit enter. Now we're going to type in exit. Now we have one more to do. We have pi number four. Then we're almost done. We're going to SSH into pi four. So we're going to type in SSH space pi at and then the address of pi 4, so mine says 192.168.1.9, yours could be different. So I'm going to hit enter, password is raspberry, hit enter, then we should be successfully logged into pi 4, which we are. Now we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the other ones. We're going to create a key gen, or generate one, copy this line of code here, paste it, replace the capital S with a lowercase s, hit enter. Then give it a few seconds, then we're gonna hit enter a few times. So once it prompts us to do something, we're gonna hit enter a couple times till we get to this screen here. I'm going to cd into .ssh, copy this code, paste it here, replace the capital C with a lowercase one, hit enter. Now we're going to copy this bit of code here. Again, it's going to copy this file into a new directory, which is going to create, and it's called pi04. So we're gonna replace the capital C with a lowercase c. Hit enter. Now we're going to copy this bit of code here. Again, we're going to do a few things with this one. And the first thing is to change the IP address to pi number one's IP address. Mine says dot six. Yours is going to be something different. And we're also going to change it from a capital S to a lowercase s. Then hit enter. Then we're going to, um, okay, I forgot to copy the dot. So make sure you copy the dot. There's a dot there, as you can see, make sure you copy that. So I'm gonna copy it and paste it again. Again, we're going to uh, change it, our IP address to pi number one's IP address. Mine is dot six. Yours is gonna be different. And we're going to uh, replace capital S with a lowercase s, then hit enter. Make sure you copy that dot here. It's very important. Then type in yes, hit enter. And type in yes, then hit enter. And the password is raspberry. We're gonna copy this code here, paste it onto here. Hit en then we're going to change capital C to a lowercase c. Hit enter. Now we're going to type exit. All right, so now the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure we copy this line of code here. Copy it, paste it. Now we're going to do a few things. First thing, we're going to hit space and add a dot. Make sure you hit space and add a dot. Then we're going to replace uh, the IP address to pi number two's IP address. Whatever your IP address is to pi number two, mine is dot seven. So I'm gonna change this dot three to a dot seven. And we have to make sure we delete the capital S and change it to a lowercase s. Hit enter. Now we're gonna copy this line of code here. We're gonna paste it. And we're going to change the capital C to a lowercase c. Hit enter. Now we're going to repeat this for all the other pi's. 
So we're going to copy this again, paste it. Now we want to change it to pi number 3. So I'm going to change this to pi 03, hit space, add a dot. Go to the middle of the code, make sure we add the IP address of our pi 3. Mine is dot 8. So I'm going to delete the dot 3 and type in dot 8. Yours is different. And we're going, and we're going to uh, change this capital S into a lowercase s. And then we're going to hit enter. Then we're going to copy this code underneath this one again. Paste it and uh, change it from uh, pi 02 to pi 03. So delete the 02, make sure you add an 03, change uh, this from a capital C to a lowercase c, hit enter. So now we're gonna repeat the step with pi number four. I'm gonna copy this here, paste it here. We're going to uh, change, actually we forgot to add, hit space, add the dot, hit, go back, change it to pi number four, delete the two here, make this a four, then we're going to change the IP address from dot three to whatever the IP address is of your pi number four. So mine says dot nine. I'm gonna delete the three and type in nine, and we're going to uh, delete this capital S and make it a lowercase s. So we're gonna hit enter. Now we're going to copy this code underneath it again, paste it. Now we're going to change uh, the dot now we're going to change it from pi 02 to pi 04. And we're going to also get rid of this capital C and make this a lowercase c. Then we're going to hit enter. Now we're pretty much finished. Now we're going to change the directory here. Copy this, paste this here. And replace this capital C with a lowercase c, hit enter. Now we're going to try this code again to see if it works. So we're going to copy this here, paste this here. Replace the capital M with a lowercase m, then hit enter. All right, guys, so if you see the names of your pies printed like this, that means everything we did worked successfully. And uh, we created our cluster computer made out of Raspberry Pis. Now, this is a cluster computer, and we can take advantage of the cluster computer environment. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to create programs that takes advantage of the cluster computer environment. It'll use all our Raspberry Pis together to... Uh, do something. We're going to create a program, we're going to give it some instructions, and it's going to use the resources of all our Raspberry Pis to do it. Now, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, and also stay tuned for part four. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.